Okay, let's let's go ahead and create the complicated nephron. And to do that first, we're going to start with the our afferent and efferent arterioles and the glomerulus. So get you a red color, pink for your artery, and we're going to make it about a peanut M&M size. So there you go. Get that, and on your placemat or your desk, go ahead and roll that out. And you want to make it fairly long, and at the same time, you want to make one end of it fatter than the other. And if you are thinking about afferent and efferent arterioles, then you already know why we're making one end thinner and making the other end fatter. So, looking at that, I rolled it out. And you can clearly see one end is much fatter than the other. So, looking at those two, which one would you think will be my afferent arterial? And which one will be my efferent? So think of A before E. So A comes first. A is going to be the big fat one. Whereas E will be the last one. So efferent will be this little one. Increasing that pressure within the glomerulus. So now take this little string of clay and start balling up. Don't smash it, just ball it up. So I balled it up into a tiny little ball, or a little ball bundle of capillaries, like so. So this ball of capillaries with my afferent here and my efferent coming out, and I can wind that around some more if I want to. This little ball here is the glomerulus. So I have my afferent arterial leading into my glomerulus, with my efferent arterial exiting. So we'll just kind of lay him up there for now. Now make sure you wipe the hands off because we're going to deal with the tan looking white clay. We don't want it all red. So get you about a, a little bit bigger than a gumball size. Well even if you get smaller it, it'll be fine. Um, and I think I will. I'm going to pinch that in half, actually. I think it's a little too big for me. Okay. So, roll that out to your ball. And then mash your thumb in the middle. And then just start working your way around it. And make it a concaved disc. It's kind of hard to do with my nails, but you can, you can get it. So, make it a concave disc. I'm working myself. I'm getting some pink in there that I didn't want. Start working yourself around to make this disc. Dag it that pink. Okay. I want to continue to make it bigger and bigger because this is going to go around that ball of capillaries, the glomerulus. So if this wraps around, kind of like a flower petal. If the, this goes around, what do you think this structure is called? So it's wrapping around it. And you can kind of leave it a little open. You don't have to mash it down. So it's wrapping around that glomerulus. And this will actually be your Bowman's capsule. So let's lay him up there now. I'm going to lay him way over here in the corner. Okay. So there's my Bowman's capsule. You can kind of set him up. And then if you look inside there, you can see your glomerulus. So now I can create my proximal convoluted tubule. So I take that roll and I roll it out of my hand. And then you can probably use your yellow. Roll it out on the yellow and that's fine for this because it's not going to color your paper. Now you may get some of the clay on the paper and we're going to write on this paper later so that may make it difficult but 
we'll see. Maybe it'll use Sharpies on it as well. I like to use a pen because there's going to be a lot of writing. So you got to use something that you can squeeze it all on this small piece of paper. Okay. So there is our proximal convoluted tubule. So it's going to be the one that is closest to its origin, closest to the glomerulus. And I kind of stick it in there. And it is convoluted. So I'm just going to kind of make it a little snaky looking. There's the proximal convoluted tubule. Don't mash it down yet because we're going to do some other things with it. So there's the proximal convoluted tubule. You can see that good there. And you can already see the descending limb of my loop of Henley. Already starting out there. getting in the way. Okay. So get you some more white. And this one's got a little green in it. All this stuff's been recycled. Okay. And do the same thing. Roll it out. Make you some more snakes. And you're going to need a lot of them so you can go ahead and make as much as you would like. I'm going to pinch that one in half. And, okay, there's me a nice little descending. Okay, so I didn't create me a lot of room. Let me make some room here. Okay, so I'm going to attach that there. And this is going to be my descending. And then I'm making a, you don't have to mash it down on your paper, but I did a little bit just to hold it in place. Then, so I made a, so I got a glomerulus in here. Oops. So I have afferent arterial going into a bundle, making a glomerulus inside, efferent arterial coming out. Then I have a Bowman's capsule around. I have a proximal convoluted tubule going down through a descending loop or descending limb of the loop. And then here's my loop of Henley right there. And I've already started my ascending limb, so let's finish it off. Okay, here is my ascending, my ascending limb into now my descending convoluted, so, or de descending not descending, I hope you caught that, should be distal, distal convoluted tubule. So it's the one furthest away, so proximal, proximal over here, he's closest to the glomerulus. And we have descending limb, loop of Henley, ascending limb. Now we're the furthest away from that glomerulus, so this is the, the distal. So let's make our distal. And we've got to make it convoluted as well. Do you remember why, or think of why, things would be convoluted? Think about your intestines. Remember, they're all bundled up, kind of squished up and squished into that abdomen. What's the purpose of all of that? Because the, the kidneys are, and the nephron itself,